Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be going over uh, a question that I got on my unboxing video regarding the RX480 and DVI monitors. So, the reference card does not come with the DVI ports on it, unfortunately. It's all just DisplayPort 1.4 and HDMI 2.0, so it's very forward and future thinking in that regard. Um, the Fiji cards were the same, they didn't have the newer specs, like they, they didn't have HDMI 2 and display port 1.4 so anyway um, what this video is going to go over is the type of adapters you would need to get if you have older display port monitors and really um, from my experience I just pull my case forward a little bit so I can get back here uh, it works either way so you can run if you run two two passive adapters like this this is a passive adapter available at Fry's Electronics for $14.99. I have one of these right now connected from the DVI cable to the graphics card and it works fine. I can also say that two of these will work meaning you can run two of these plus your HDMI to drive a total of three monitors like this. So you have one here, one in the middle, and then one on the right. Um, I'm not sure about three though. Three you might need to run two of these plus one active adapter. The active adapter is a little bit more money I think it's like $10 more, so it's like 25 bucks or something. But uh, I've got one of those because I've had them from back in the day when Ifinity was new and uh, the 7000 series had required it. Like the 70, not 870 and 7970 stuff it required it. So anyway, here is what the active adapter looks like. Uh, and it'll say active, like right here, it actually says it on there. Um, but you don't need this if you're going to do HDMI and two DisplayPort to DVI. Uh, like I have two DisplayPort to DVI here. Um, so there's a passive one in the middle. I've got my one there. And then if we scoot over here. So there's the three. So here's the HDMI on the far left on the end here in the back. So this is HDMI on one end and the other end of the cable is DVI. Then I have the passive one, and then this could be another passive one, or this is in this case I just have an active one here. Um, it doesn't really matter. You can do, like I said, two passives work. I've already tested it, and then I have um, the HDMI one there. So the only time you may need the active adapter for DisplayPort to DVI is if you were going to do uh, three of them, I think, although I have not actually tested that. So, But I do know that this setup works for triple display, 60 hertz, 1080p, uh, no problems. So anyway guys, this was supposed to be an informative video. Um, oh, one thing I do want to also point out is how you know if you have an active or, dis or a passive adapter. So in Radeon settings, very simple. If you have an active adapter from DisplayPort to DVI, your, your graphics card will think that you're connected to the actual connection that the graphics card uses. So in this case, I have an active adapter connected to this ASUS monitor. So because it's active, it does the conversion to the monitor. The monitor is actually connected on a DVI port because none of these monitors have display port, display ports on them. So you can see the graphics card thinks it's connected to a display port when in reality, it's actually connected to a DVI port. It's just going through an active adapter. A passive one won't do that. A passive one will transparently let the signal go all the way through. So the graphics card gets to see exactly what it's physically connected to, in this case, it knows it's connected to a DVI interface on the monitor via the passive display port to DVI adapter. And then HDMI, in this last case, HDMI to DVI is exactly, it's, it's a no issue because HDMI and DVI both use the same signaling characteristics. So you could have HDMI on one end and DVI on the other end and it'll work no problems. So in this case I have a cable that's actually display port on one, no, uh, DVI on one end and HDMI on the other end. So that's why that one shows up like that. So it's kind of like a passive adapter as well. So anyway guys, hope you guys learned something from this video. Um, I'm pretty sure the custom cards that are coming out from like Sapphire and all the others will probably have a DVI port as well as an 8-pin connector and stuff like that. So there shouldn't be any issues there. Um, unless you still have, like me, like you have three old DVI monitors, 1080p, like 22 inch monitors. Um, so you'd still, in that case, need like at least one passive adapter. And you could do DVI plus HDMI and then, you know, 
the adapter. So, anyway guys, hope you enjoyed that video. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.